Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, live on location at Forever Healthy here in Chatsworth. And today's episode is very special. We're going to be talking about healthy choices. My health is my wealth. So you can come here today, and we're going to be speaking about ways we can have a smoothie, a very healthy smoothie made to us and made for us to help us with our blood sugar, to help us to cure our cholesterol, and also ways that we can be able to work out and make ourselves a drink that's going to enhance our immune system. I'm so excited about the guest that's going to be on the show. We have Rachel. Uh, she is the founder and owner of Forever Healthy. And then we're going to have a couple of people from Hollywood stopping by to be able able to talk about ways they can be you can become healthy and things they do to help them to become healthy as well so i'm sherard buckle up i hope you have a wonderful time watching this episode and then also if you stop by today and you mention the sherard show you will get a free smoothie as well i'm sherard we'll be right back right after this Today we're going to be talking about health, everything about being healthy, living a healthier lifestyle, as well as drinking things that's going to make you feel better, and it's not any Cavassier or any Jack Daniels, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited about the individuals that are here uh, joining me on the Sherrard Show, but before we get into the show uh, this morning, I would like to first thank all of my viewers for watching. You can also watch us live on Facebook, uh, just at the Sherrard Show, and if you come in today, just for mentioning the Sherrard Show, you will get a free smoothie. Smoothie. So come on in and get your free smoothie. Uh, pick your flavor. Be healthy. This is an exciting time uh, this morning here. And then also we're going to be talking to the lovely founder um, of Forever Healthy. Uh, Rachel is going to be here in a moment. She's going to be talking about giving us ways to help you lose weight, ways to eat healthy, and you can get a better night's sleep as well. And then also the Sherrard Show is sponsored by My Candy Bar, the Sherrard Show Candy Bar. Now this is very special and dear to me, ladies and gentlemen because this is the Sherrard Signature Candy Bar, every one dollar goes back to the, to the Kidney Foundation, so it's the fight for the cure. Um, and I'll speak more about my ailment and the inspiration behind this later on. But I'm Sherrard, buckle up, we're gonna have a wonderful time, and when we come back, we're gonna have the lovely Rachel right after this. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, live on location at the wonderful Forever Healthy, right here in Chatsworth, 10158 uh, on Mason Avenue. You've got to come on down and get yourself a smoothie. It's all about being more healthy. As a matter of fact, our episode is entitled, My Health is My Wealth. And to my right is the uh, founder and owner, this lovely young lady. I had the privilege of meeting her just a couple of weeks ago, and I was very enchanted about her motivation and her passion on being more healthy. So I, was, I said, I have have to have you on the show. So Rachel, welcome to the Sherrard Show. How are Thank you this you, morning? Thank you, Doing great. How are you? You're doing, uh, you're, I'm doing okay and you're doing lovely, I see, and you look fantastic. Let's get a close-up on this beautiful outfit she has. She is just dressed for the occasion, ladies and gentlemen. It's so wonderful. So welcome to the show. How are you? Thank so, you. Doing well. So tell me a little bit about um, the inspiration behind Forever Health. So we are a wellness center and nutrition club and smoothie bar. So our our main goal is to help the local people here in Chatsworth get healthy, provide fast food for them that's healthy, nutritious, and we do wellness coaching. So we help people one-on-one -on -one to get healthy, um, any areas of health, heart health, digestive health, losing weight, getting fit, getting ready for the new year, getting ready for that party, getting just getting healthier and feeling better in general. So we're here as a community to support everyone. Now how long have you been here, Rachel? Um, are you new to the community? Fairly new for a business. We've been here about 15 months um, getting going. Our goal is to open up 20 more locations. Now, something you said very interesting just a second ago. You said your smoothies help people with their heart. Mm -hmm. Do you also help with the kidneys as well? Everything. So ev we're, we can't claim to cure, treat anything. We have to give that disclaimer, but good nutrition can't hurt. Good. Everybody needs good nutrition every day. Mm -hmm. Now, it's funny because um, she's located right by um, a fitness place, so it's kind of interesting how the locations really um, feed off of each other. Now, do you have a lot of people coming from the gym coming to get a smoothie? Yes. I like to call this the wellness corner. We have self-care right next door. We have a nail salon. We have a massage place next to us. We have the Fitness 19 Center here, so people come in before before they work out, after, and also people who just need to have a healthy meal that are local, that work in the 
the area. You know, it's very interesting because you see a lot of people um, have a different techniques they used in order to lose weight, but it seemed like you have a particular niche um, on the corners on how to lose weight. Can you tell it, can you share that information? Yeah. So we don't like to use the word diet. It has the word diet in it. We focus on making healthy lifestyle changes that people can maintain. I'm not a fan of rapid weight loss because that changes your body so quickly. So we're here to help people lose weight according to um, their goals and slowly do it. Um, so that way your body adjusts, making those small changes that people are ready for to commit so that they can maintain their healthy weight for life. We're not a diet, we're a lifestyle change. So somebody, um, if you get them on that regimen mm -hmm. um, and they take start taking one of some of your smoothies, it'll be just kind of coincide with your lifestyle so they'll just lose the weight gradually. Mm -hmm. We have a basic skeleton of a plan. So for weight loss in general, you do two healthy meal smoothies a day, two healthy protein snacks with fiber, and then one healthy balanced meal. Now we have a machine that will read all of our numbers. Um, your resting metabolic rate, how much muscle you have, so that way you know how many grams of protein you need to eat a day and how many calories. So we can adjust the plan. If someone's more athletic and they burn more, maybe they're a new mom and breastfeeding and they need more calories. So we customize plans and sit down and meet with people and go with their goals. Now what about flavors? Some people might think it back at home, you know what, I, 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 I can lose weight but I bet I won't like it. Right. I'm not a shake person. Exactly. We hear that all the time. We have over a hundred healthy meal smoothies. These. Our most popular is birthday cake and chocolate peanut butter banana, blueberry muffin, and something fruity. So we got you. Mm -hmm. Just come in. We'll help you find the shake for you. Now, what kind of specials do you have um, going on today so people can be more inspired to come in today? What are you offering promos? Yes. So your first smoothie today is free. It, and just mention the Sherrard Show. If you're a returning customer, you see this, come on in. We'll get you half off your shake. Um, we just want you to come in and have good nutrition as often as you can. We need good nutrition every day. So Now, now and we, again, we're talking to the lovely Rachel Howery about the founder and owner of uh, Forever Healthy. And we are right now um, live on location at 10158 Mason Avenue in Chatsworth, uh, talking about ways to make yourself more healthy and to get yourself fit. Everybody want to get that spring figure and physique. Is that correct? Exactly. So, And that's what you're here to help us. Do. Now, also in our next segment, we'll talk about it after this commercial break. You're going to help uh, and educate us on how we can become business owners as well as getting healthy. Is that correct? Absolutely. So, so go ahead. definitely in our next segment, we're going to talk about that. And then also, um, you all back home, I'd love to hear your questions and comments um, in ways you can be able to help yourself um, get well and healthy. Because I like to see the tips. I like to see people give out tips that's going to help. And I'm sure, Rachel, you're going to give us some tips um, on be being healthy. Because, you know, for me, I have a particular ailment as we were discussing and um, just that birthday cake smoothie that you gave me made me feel that much better. We'll talk more about that when we come back. I'm Sherard. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location here at Forever Healthy, speaking to the lovely Rachel Howery about um, her inspiration behind Forever Healthy and in ways you can get healthy as well. Now, in our last segment, um, you were speaking about the various smoothies that you have and then also the uh, kind of plan that you can put in action so people can gradually lose weight. Now, also, I was going to say that I like, personally, when we're speaking about the free evaluation, you know, where you can help people to see where they are and help them get to their goal. Tell us a little more, a bit more about that as well. So if you're local, you can come into Forever Healthy and we have a machine and we will do this for you. We'll read body fat, hydration, muscle, how many calories you burn, your bone mass and your visceral fat and then go over your goals and help you to achieve those through one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're not local, we do it over the phone and we have an online wellness evaluation. We have you take your measurements, um, your, your inches, your picture, and then we work with you every week to achieve your goals. It's like a before and after, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, exactly. and you were just mentioning that even if you're not local, you can be able to get in uh, contact with you via phone? Yes, and also on Instagram. It's Forever Healthy Chatsworth. Oh, excellent, excellent. Now, let's talk about how someone can make money yes. off of this. I think that's what everybody is waiting to hear. You said something about being a distributor. Yes, so re um, really quick, I used to be a first grade teacher before this. I wanted some more fulfillment. I wanted a change in my life. So instead of teaching summer school, I worked the business part time at another one of our smoothie bars. And I made $1,000, which was like my teaching stipend, summer school stipend. So I decided to take it more seriously and go full time. I've doubled my teaching income. You can work from home. 
um, you can work on Instagram, you can work with us here locally, or we can train you to open up your own smoothie bar really? and help people. And we're in 94 countries. Oh, is that, that's very impressive. So how does one get started? What are the fees, things like that? So it's about $94, a dollar per country where we do business in. That uh, covers your registration. You get some sampling materials. We work with you. We have online trainings. We have weekly um, Zoom meetings. We have live meetings. We coach people on earning extra income, whether it's spare time hobby income and you want to help a few friends and family, or whether it's full time, part time, or life changing income. So, Rachel, tell us what prevents people from wanting to be healthy? After seeing what you have to offer, what is stopping someone from jumping out here and doing it? There's several reasons. Number one, they think it's going to be too painful. They're not going to get to eat the foods they love. They're going to have to diet. Um, it's not going to taste good or that it's just not going to work. They're going to fail and not get results. Really? We have a solution for all of that here. So, so if I go out there to a Greasy Spoon restaurant and just gorge, and that's just my, my habit of doing, is there a smoothie that I can drink that's going to kind of counteract that? Or I have to change my diet completely? So as long as you have your two healthy meal smoothies a day, you have a little bit of wiggle room for that third meal. So it's not, you don't have to eat, you know, plain chicken, plain brown rice, and plain vegetables for the rest of your life. So um, you have some wiggle room with that third meal. You can still enjoy life. You can still go to parties, have holidays, as long as you're, you know, um, making, following the plan in, in other areas. Oh, that's very good. Now, I'm holding something here right here now. This is all that you have to offer. Um, it's quite a bit more, but this is just some of the things. So, if you get a shot of this, you have uh, free wellness profiles, um, you have protein smoothies, um, coffee drinks, really. So, the coffee drink, can I tell us a little bit about what yes. the, uh, you offer in terms of coffee drinks? So, if, I have, if I'm known for um, wanting coffee every morning, instead of going to Starbucks, I can come to you? You can come to us and we have a protein iced coffee or hot coffee. We can wow it up with a little bit of non-dairy whipped cream and some sugar-free caramel. Anything you get at your typical coffee shop, we can make here. It's healthy, it's protein, it's a snack, it's not empty calories, it's nutritious. Now, I see fat-burning teas. What is that all about? Yep. The more you drink, the more you shrink. It's an herbal tea. It, it's a green tea, black tea. It has botanicals in it, some caffeine. So it's a natural thermogenic, but it's not dehydrating. Mm -hmm. That's a big word, thermogenic. What's that? It means your body temperature goes up inside to get you burning calories. That's nope. all thermogenic. Is. Oh, wow. Now, I'm a big tea drinker, so uh, you got to tell me the flavors. you got to tell me the flavors you have. Mm -hmm. Raspberry, peach, lemon, cinnamon, chai, and plain original. And then we have something called a lit tea that has extra stuff in it. So instead of getting an energy drink or a typical, you know, I'm not going to name the name brands, but you know what I'm talking about. You can come in and get a big lit tea. It has B vitamins, ginseng, guarana, and caffeine. And then the last thing I want to um, ask you about, I see that you've been catering in events. Tell us a little bit about that. So if you're looking to host a party, um, if you want us to come in and serve lunch for your local office, we can come in and set up a smoothie bar at your location and blend on spot. This lady is a bad woman, ladies and gentlemen. She's just, boy, she's as just smart, smart as a whip and sharp as, as a tack. I love it, I love it. Now, Rachel, thank you so much for stopping by the Sherrard Show. I want you to give them one more time where they can reach out to you if they want to be a distributor or as well as if they want to just come in today. Absolutely. So I have it right here, it, and we're going to post this for you right after. Um, our Instagram is Forever Healthy Chatsworth. Facebook is Forever Healthy Chatsworth. And then our nutrition club number is 747-237-7556. Um, yeah, just reach us out, shoot us a message, and I look forward to hearing from you we guys. We really appreciate you, Rachel, so much. I hope you. I hope everybody back home um, were taking notes and got a little educated more so on what she has to offer. Rachel, you're doing some big, big things. And we're definitely going to have you again on a future episode of the Sherrard Show. So we definitely uh, Thank you. I'm appreciate excited. that. Oh, we're so excited you. to have you. I'm going to try a Snoop smoothie as well. Um, so later on in the show, you'll see me sipping down on a smoothie, and I will do my review on that as well. And when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a young lady that's really booming it up in Hollywood. She has big things. She has plans. She's a movie producer, fashion designer, and she does a quite a bit more. Mrs. Jamelia Majesty will be on the Sherrod Show right after this.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location here at Forever Healthy on 10158 Mason um, Avenue in Chatsworth. We just had the wonderful Rachel Howery on the show. She is actually the founder and owner of Forever Healthy. And if you did not learn anything from her, you missed a treat because she was educating us on all of the things they have to offer. And just visit her on Instagram as well as Facebook, um, keyword Forever Healthy. Now this young lady to my right, um, she is doing big, big things in the industry. She's not only a fashion designer, she's also a lovely actress, as well as a director. And she wants to start writing um, her own book, telling her life story. And she stopped by the Sherrard Show, Miss Jamelia Majesty. Welcome to the show. How are you, young lady? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you so much. Now, uh, let's jump right in it. What brings you to Forever Healthy today? You do. <laughs> oh, I, I <laughs> He's did. the whole reason I'm here today. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came out. Now, you look like you're very healthy and very fit. Um, what inspires you to keep yourself looking so lovely? Besides those big Hollywood roles. I, I was born healthy. Like, you know, I've always, from a little girl, loved spinach. You know, there's children like they hate vegetables, right. they hate broccoli. Say, I've always loved being just healthy. That's part of my personality. You always loved eating vegetables. I always loved vegetables, wow. healthy, green, um, water. I never drank caffeine my whole life. If I had soda, it was always like Sprite or Sunkist, anything right. without caffeine. Really? You know, was never a caffeinated drink. I never liked chips. You know how I had a lot of friends in the morning. The first thing they ate was Doritos Guilty. chips. Guilty. Coca-Cola, <laughs> and that was their breakfast. Uh -huh. And you know, I've been a dan you know, I'm a dancer, so ballet. So I was always into health, you know, for being a dancer. Is that is very good. But you yeah. know, that's is that something your parents encouraged, or that was just you automatically? Um, no. Um, so I remember. I wish my parents would have kept me in dance when I was little. When I was a child, um, my parents had me in ballet. I lived out in Sacramento, which is where I was born, and I remember I had hoops for my earrings, and they would always get stuck on my leotard, and I'd run out of class, and I'd go, Mom, Mommy, can you get my earring off of my, my leotard? And I think I ended up quitting. Like, my parents ended up quitting on me just because my, instead of taking the earrings out, right, or giving me studs, we ended up quitting. So oh, wow. I didn't really um, even get what a pirouette was. I know I did ballet when I was little, but maybe to my freshman year in high school, as an elective. And then I was like, I'm a dancer. I was choreographing to Prince's Let It Go, you know, and, and I knew probably around 11, 13, I wanted to be a pop star, actually, instead of an actress. So you sing? Yeah, I sing. And really? Dance. Yeah. So, so um, you were watching Britney Spears and you said, you know what, I want to be a pop no, star? No, it was Janet Jackson. Oh, Janet Jackson. <laughs> it's definitely Janet, yeah. Really? Yeah. Very good, very so. good. Now, um, I appreciate they just slid me my smoothie, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be uh, sampling this one to see how great it is in our next commercial break. But, Jamelia, let's talk a little bit about your career. Now, um, you're a very impressive career to be so young. Um, you're doing a movie right now with Brian Hooks, right? Yes. Now, everybody um, who knows or don't know Brian Hooks, he, is the, um, he did a film called Three Strikes. Uh, that was a hit <laughs> film. Very, very funny. Um, and then he did quite a few other things. What is it like working with Brian? I love Brian. I mean, he's what I, because I learn from every actor or actress that I'm working with. You know, we, we learn from each other. And he has a way of um, improving and freestyling to where it's like, you know, we're still saying the lines, but you throw the lines away and you just really put your own flavor into it. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, so, that seems like it's a lot of fun. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of laughing on set. Yeah. 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 He's funny. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, you also did a documentary um, um, about a barber shop, right? It's barbers. It, about barbers in their barber shop um, in the inner city of LA, is that correct? Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about your inspiration behind it. Are you a barber? I'm not, um, but my inspiration behind that was the African American culture and history of everything. Um, being African American, that was important to me. I had a lot of friends that were barbers. And, um, it seemed like, you know, they they weren't on the streets, they were doing something positive, and I like how, it's almost like church to men. You go and get your hair done every week or two. And you can talk about a lot of stuff. You gotta get stuff. your beard shaped up, you gotta get, you know, because your hair, your hair is short, so you gotta go more often than women do. 
And um, my inspiration came from when I was in film school. Um, they start with like what is that, three minute films to 20 minute films. And I said, I'll never do a documentary. Oh, documentary was like, oh, I hate this subject. I can't wait to get out of it. And, you know, we just hated it. You know, they had Hitler, which is supposed to be legal. They're not even supposed to steer that spirit. You know, we're not supposed to be watching those movies, but they, you know, plug in Hitler and Adolf, you know, all that right, stuff. Right. And so, um, I said, I'll never do it. So what happens is when you start doing a film and you have a deadline, you... My first film I wrote, it doesn't happen. Something happens, like the actor bails out on that. Or um, maybe five of the six actors show up and then it changes your dialogue. Right. Now it's like, okay, I can work with this, but now I have to change what I originally wrote. And so I would end up filming like four different films instead of the first original idea I had oh my to submit my project. And I remember one time I was like, the only way I'm going to submit a film is if I do a documentary and go out there and just get it done myself and turn it in. Now, how long did it take you to do that? It was like a day. Wow. You know, so I was, so I went out and, um, because Spike Lee was into documentaries and then there's a lot of film directors that started by doing documentaries. Correct. Very informative documentaries. And, and, and that was their way of like making money and things like that. And I think, what is it, um, Hoop Dreams? Mm -hmm. That was a big documentary. Very and, big one. And I looked at how much profit it made I said, I could do that. I can make that much money. But I didn't feel that way till after I, so I went, in, I went out, went to Crenshaw Boulevard, all the places I knew. I made the film. It was great because I have a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. And and then I was like, I like documentaries, but I never thought that I would like it until I actually did it. That's excellent. Now, when did you complete yeah. the documentary? Um, well, I completed that one for class, film school, and then I'm still kind of working on it. It's like a three-hour one that I have I haven't released of wow. of a spinoff of that short film into like a three-hour movie. So then maybe I can do something. Release and make lots of money, like now is it available for, uh, for watching, like on YouTube or anything? Yes. Yeah. You and, can see it. and what do I have to go to uh, watch it on YouTube? You could just put in Jamila Majesty Barbershop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it'll pop up. Now, Jamila, um, just Google my uh, name. Your, your name. Now, I, I, we're going to talk about this in, after our first commercial break, um, our next commercial break, and then also I'm going to have us tell you how I felt about this um, smoothie. Now, this one is a particular one. This is uh, mixed with all kind of fruits, pineapple. Um, it's mixed with apples, etc. So I can't wait to try it out. <laughs> It'll be really great for your health. And then you're going to be trying one too to give out your I've critique got, on it as well. Yeah, I, I started eating, uh, drinking the birthday cake one. Okay. I think <laughs> so I, I have a pineapple shot or a mango shot over there or something too. You said a shot like we drink some liquor. But <laughs> I, it's great to know what this is very, very good for you. Um, when we come back, we're going to have our critique on this. You know what? I can ask you about your name. I want the people to know about the Majesty. Is that a made up yeah. stage name or your real last name? We'll be right back right after this. And in our previous segment, um, I mentioned early on in regards to uh, the Sherrard Show candy bar, um, as well as my signature card, my signature candy bar, um, the Sherrard National Kidney Foundation candy bar. And the inspiration behind this is um, I am dealing with an illness entitled membranous neuropathy. And this illness um, is when your immune system attacks your kidneys. So there's many people that suffer from this illness. And by you purchasing one of my Sherrard candy bars, you will be contributing to the Kidney Foundation. One dollar goes to the Kidney Foundation for the fight for the cure. So I, I hope and pray that you look at the screen, purchase the, can, the um, candy bar. It's right there on the screen. You can go to my website at thesherrardshow.com or you can go to Sweet Hollywood uh, Los Angeles um, as well and purchase it. This one in, uh, in my left hand is the um, white chocolate and this one here in my right hand is the milk chocolate. Come and support and be a part of something that is huge. And also, um, in terms of the illness, it can get many people down, but um, it can get me down many times. But I want you all who um, also suffer from this to be able to keep, stay encouraged and also to live your best life. I'm going to continue to do what I do as long as the Lord bless me with the strength. And you know, we were talking kind of off camera um, a little bit about this illness as well as something you were saying. Your, your dad um, passed away recently, is that correct? Yes. I'm so sorry for that, yeah. um, your loss in terms of that. Now, how have you been dealing with it? 
Um, just doing my best to stay centered in the Lord. Um, I think that with his passing and with the finding that he, he prayed so much, I went through his personal Bible and, you know, every single word was underlined in every, every part of the Bible. He was a, he was a, a believer as well, is that correct? Very much Amen. so, very much so. He was a, a big man of God. And I think he left me a lot of strength. I mean, I did a 21 day Daniel fast, I did a lot of things. But then recently, um, just a month ago, my 16 year old brother, who wasn't my father's son, but my both my parents had children in 2003 with new wife and husband. Um, he recently passed away, my baby brother, at 16. So once that happened, then it was like both my parents got attacked. I lost my father, but then my mother's only son with her new husband died as well and then and then I felt like the you know like now it's everybody else and things but I think just staying strong in God because everybody the enemy comes in and attach like breaks up the family and I mean all of my family is like enemy now it's like how does that happen you know there's and, and it usually starts with the man the head he takes down that man and, and everything seems like it goes from there and that's yeah. very unfortunate I'm sorry about that yeah. but how was that contributed to your acting to help you as a stronger actress what, my father? Your father, Pat. Because a lot of times people, um, actors, you know, they draw that motivation. Instead of being down on themselves, they see it translating to the film. And sometimes you see the best work from them off of something that happens devastating. Well, what I did is I tried to stay consistent, stay on camera, keep acting. And I kind of got that feedback, like, why am I even okay enough to still be on camera, to still do things? I noticed, you know, that I looked different on camera. Because, you know, my father is most like me of anybody that was alive as far as spiritually, as far as understanding me on a different plane, from a different realm, all different kinds of things like that. So I feel very alone, you know, um, and, and the people that I feel connected to is as far as lovers and things that we've had on earth that have really impacted and changed the world, like Michael Jackson, like Prince. You know, and on top of the fact that my father's date of death was Prince's birthday. Really? Yeah. Wow. wow. So that's quite coincidental. Yeah, yeah. It w that's that, not the day he died, but it's recorded as the date of death. Now, was he a fan of Prince and Michael Jackson as well? Yeah, I thought he loved them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah wow. he liked both of them a lot. Um, I actually thought Prince was my soulmate when I was 11 years old, and then when I was 19, um, my daughter's paternal parent, who's with Cool in the Game, he thought that Michael Jackson and I were soulmates. And I was like, why would you think that? He was kind of like, well, he lived with Michael Jackson, so he's like, oh, really? I know Michael and I know you, and then I kind of shifted it like, maybe I was a pop star singer on that level, and I, but when I looked at myself in the mirror, I noticed that physically, I looked more like Michael than Prince. That's correct. That, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you do look a lot like Janet Jackson. It's kind of interesting <laughs> in terms of that. But you know, the, the funny thing about it is that um, um, Michael Jackson, um, Mike Tyson was talking about Michael Jackson um, this week in the news, as a matter of fact. And he said the first time he met Michael Jackson, he didn't like him at all because Mike Tyson just won the world championship and uh, Michael Jackson just played him off. But he said later on, um, years later, Michael Jackson had reached out to him to hang out with him. And he found out that Michael Jackson being this nice, uh, low-key guy wasn't his real persona. He was smart as a whip, and he was a very, very um, articulate and strategic guy. And so Mike Tyson did a really love him because he realized he was way more to Michael Jackson than what he was given in the public. That's funny. You know, it's like Michael Jordan. I've never met Michael Jordan yet, but I know that we would hit it off and get along, and I have things that I think of that would involve him if I could. And um, when I was a little girl, I lived in the Bay Area. My parents did real estate. And I think they, they were at a Bulls game. And my father went out, and my father is you know, 6'4", should have been a professional athlete himself, and um, asked for Michael, Jack Michael Jordan's autograph. He got in his face, no. Turned around and gave a little white boy his autograph. Is that a true story? This is a true story. And so my father had that, like, can't Michael try, you know, kind of thing. But I, I, I don't know. He always had that thing. But I think that in, in life, that me and Michael Jordan would probably get along. That's a very interesting thing to say, especially <laughs> when he was so rude to your dad like that. That was very interesting. Yeah. You know? And um, so your dad never was a fan after that? He, he. Oh, only he, a fan from far away? 
he was he felt disrespected by Michael Jordan for that. That he would say no to him. First of all, to ask somebody for your autograph is like you shouldn't have to do that, right? Because you kind of used to be above that. My father was the type of person that when we would walk, people would ask for his autograph. Should I know you? Who are you? And so I was kind of used to that as a child. Like people would always come. So when he, but it's just just the fact that when a little boy right after a little white boy came up and asked him and he gave it to him, that's he just felt disrespected by Michael Jordan. Wow, I'm sorry yeah. it happened. But you know, it sounds like your dad was very uh, quite a profound guy. It's 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 very great to know that he was also a, a fellow believer in the Lord and a man of God. That's pretty well done and awesome. And then I see that that translates over to his daughter as well. Um, but you know, in, in in our next segment, we're going to kind of talk more about that, and then we're going to also have a taste test in terms of uh, the beautiful drinks because um, <laughs> I'm all about making sure I'm maintaining my health and I think that you are too because uh, early on you were drinking and sipping your tea. So when we come back ladies and gentlemen we're going to have our taste <laughs> tests and we're going to see how good is this smoothie here at Forever Health. <laughs> And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard. Having a wonderful time talking to Mrs. Majesty about her career and all the good things she's been doing. Very interesting uh, career being so young and prolific. Now, um, for a quick moment, let's talk a little bit about your fashion designing uh, career. Now, how long have you been a fashion designer? I just started designing, though it's been my plans for a long time. Um, Is it a line for men and women or just women? Men and women and children. Really? All ages, all genders. Now, now um, what is the name of the brand? The Majesty brand, and then I have like Majesty jeans, and so I'll have a jean line, a wool line, a leather line. That's beautiful. Is Majesty your uh, stage name or your real last name? No, it's my real name. Really? Yeah. So how often do you have people come up to you and say, hi, your Majesty? Often. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, 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 your Majesty. That, that's beautiful. <laughs> Very often. So tell me, um, when is your brand going to be hitting stores and things like that? Um, well, I just posted right before New Year's um, a picture of my daughter modeling a denim jean vest. And I have, you know, actually my production team is very slow. So I'm the designer, but then I hire people to make what is going on in my mind. And I paid them. And I swear, if they tell me two weeks, this was, it's been five months on one, <laughs> the other one tells me the same two weeks, it's been three months, so I gotta go back in and check them, and it's a lot of money too, right, right. so that, that goes through the production of things, so I have to be careful about a lot of stuff. So give or take, you would say uh, your projection perhaps this year to be out later this year? Yeah, yeah, I, I am going to be selling this year. I think by next year it might be more in full production, um, but I, there's definitely already, I have I have a, something on Poshmark already under the Majesty brand that you can buy now. Very yeah. good, very good young lady. Now where would someone be able to keep in contact with you and see what you have going on with your career, your Facebook, Instagram, things like that? Yeah, I think just my website, jamilamajesty.com. Excellent. And then if you need, uh, usually I put my agent and my manager on my website, and then also IMDB. You can find different managers and agents as well. Very yeah. busy young lady. <laughs> now, um, you had a chance, and we're going to do our little uh, taste test here, as I said on our previous commercial break. Um, she's going to be trying out. Now, what is the flavor that you're going to be drinking here? I think this is like, um, so I asked Rachel to make me a combination of, it's a tea mm -hmm. with some night something so it's supposed to be for heart health as well as weight loss very good so you're saying you're trying to lose weight or what yeah i need to lose some weight i just had a baby so mm -hmm. i don't know something about a boy it's not dropping like uh -oh, uh -oh. okay all right so this is supposed to help and i'm still breastfeeding so good. this is supposed to help so her to lose weight and i want to see if the taste matches up what the projection is going to do so let's go ahead and sample it okay well i've been drinking it mm -hmm. It's kind of like the Master Cleanse. It's a little lemony. It has lemonade in it, for sure. And, and it, this is aloe vera. So, oh, is that what this yeah, is? Yeah, this is some of the aloe vera. So typically okay. before you take a smoothie, they want you to drink some aloe vera. Very, very healthy for you as well. In a shot glass. Very, very healthy. Um, actually, um, we do grow it 
here in uh, California, so it's very healthy. You can rub it on your face, things like that. So, um, Mrs. Majesty, we really appreciate you stopping by the Sherrard Show, gracing us with your present. presence. Um, when the clothing line come out and things like that, I definitely want you to come by and get and be a um, guest on the show, and then also with some of the movies you have, especially the one with Brad Hooks. Now, what? when is that one coming out? You know... <laughs> Directors are so slow. I would think this movie would have been done last year. Mm -hmm. But they change things. I mean, sometimes you have a movie and they have a schedule and it's 14 days and it gets filmed and it's out the next week. It depends on editing. It depends on a lot of things. It depends on the budget. It depends on the production team. And then there's movies that you get. I have a movie probably from eight years ago really? that could all of a sudden pop up and be like, okay, we want to finish it. You know, so I have a lot of things that... You know, you start productions, you start movies, and sometimes they just, okay, we'll just take a time off, and, you know, so it really depends. Everybody, every director is different. Every production team, you know, it's the world of acting. It's just, it's very, very, it, it varies. So that's why it's good, you know, when you get a movie and you have a big major studio behind you. Right, even right. that. Yeah, it's, even, even that can even be delayed that, in those, terms of that. Yeah, Absolutely. so, yeah. But you know, the thing is that when your movie come out eight years from now, you'd be like, wow, I forgot I had a Jerry Curl. <laughs> you know, you'd be like, I got a Jerry Curl in that movie? <laughs> but that's pretty cool. But we wish you the best yeah. in your... Um, in your success in your career, we know that you're going to do fine. And congratulations on being a new mom. Thank Thanks you. again for being on the Sherrod okay. Show. And when I come, we come back, ladies and gentlemen, I have my final thoughts as well on this wonderful morning here at Forever Healthy. I'm here at 10158 Mason Avenue. I'm Sherrod. We'll be right back right after. Time. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really did. I really enjoyed um, interviewing and speaking to Rachel Howery about her career and about all the things she has going, as well as the wonderful, wonderful Forever Healthy that we hear. Um, I had a great smoothie. And I'm going to check some tea out as well. Um, I enjoyed um, all of the great people that we've met. And if you want to come down, still you do have time to come down um, to 10158 Mason Avenue to get your free smoothie as well. And then last but not least, I appreciate Jamelia Majesty coming by to the Sherrard Show as well. She's doing some big, big things with her brand. And she's also going to be in a couple movies. You want to just check her out at JamiliaMajesty.com. And then also I want you to stay tuned to our next episode on the Sherrard Show. Well, we're going to have a couple of some of the biggest names in Hollywood. I'm going to um, be interviewing Quincy Jones, Sam Samuel Jackson, and then we're going to have a very special guest as well stopping by in the Sherrard Show. So you want to tune in, buckle up, because we're going to have some big things coming up. I'm Sherrard. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. See you next time.